Hi, I'm Jeffrey Uzongo. Here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for June the 22nd, 2019. An airplane belonging to Airpeace has overshot the runway while trying to land at the Port Harcourt International Airport in River State. One of the passengers on board the plane says the incident occurred as the plane was trying to land at the airport during a heavy rainfall. The plane came to a halt about 200 kilometers into the bush, after which all passengers were evacuated from it and driven to the arrival area. To security matters, the multinational Joint Task Force says its troops, in conjunction with the national forces, have killed 42 Islamic State for West Africa terrorists. A statement from the Chief of Military Public Relations of the MTJTF, Colonel Timothy Antiga, says troops embark on a clearance operation to Doron Naira, an island in Lake Chad, in a bid to disrupt ISOP activities. He has that troops effectively suppress the terrorists and destroy two gun trucks, three motorcycles, while two light machine guns were recovered. Vice President Yemi Shibajo has traveled to the United States for a meeting with U.S. Vice President Mike Pence about matters of mutual interest between Nigeria and the U.S. Shibajo will also be meeting with other groups in the country, including the Council on Foreign Relations in New York. The Vice President is expected back in Abuja on Thursday. On the international scene, at least seven people have died after an under-construction seven-story building collapsed at a Cambodian beach resort on Saturday. The building went down before sunrise in the casino resort town of Sihanoukville, a rapidly developing tourist hotspot awash with Chinese investment. Four people have been detained in connection with the accident, including the Chinese building owner, the head of the construction firm, and the contractor. And in sports, Nigeria's Super Falcons have crashed out of the FIFA Women's World Cup after losing 3-0 to Germany in the round of 16. Goals from Alexandra Pope, Sarah Debrit, and Lea Schola gave the Germans a well-deserved victory in Grenoble. The Falcons will reach the last 16 as one of the four best third-place teams were outcast by their opponents. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for the morning news update. I'm Jeffrey Uzama. Thank you for watching.